Hello, I'm Dr. Jeffrey Weber. I'm a medical oncologist at the Laura and Isaac Perlmutter Cancer Center at NYU Langone Health here in New York City. I would like to report to you today on several abstracts presented at the recent ASCO meeting that was held virtually. Both of them were updates, long-term updates, on important large trials that were conducted over the last couple of years. The most important one, in my view, was the 6.5-year, very long-term follow-up on the Checkmate 067 trial presented by Dr. Jed Walchok from Memorial Sloan Kettering, in which he shows that the response rates, as you would expect, continue to be impressive, favoring the Ipinevo arm. And again, this was a large randomized trial of Ipinevo versus Nevo alone versus Ipi alone. And the response rate continues to be impressive for the Ipinevo arm at 58 with 45% response rate for the arm which received Nevo alone, of course, much less 19% for Ipi. Progression-free survival at six and a half years of follow-up, 34% for the combo, 29% for Nevo alone. And we finally reached a median. The median survival is 72 months, very impressive, versus a 49% survival at six and a half years and 42% survival for Nevo alone. So clear superiority all the way along that curve starting at about a year of follow-up. And again, if you look at the melanoma-specific survival, which was a very interesting postdoc analysis that we'd never seen, 56% versus 48%. Again, for the combo versus Nevo alone, clearly favoring the combo. And again, if you look at the patients who had a CR in either arm, whether it be Ipi, Nevo, or Nevo, 88 or 89% alive at six and a half years versus only something like 66% for those who got ipilimumab alone, again, favoring the combination in every way, shape, or form. If you look at the BRAF status mutated versus wild type in terms of overall survival and progression-free survival, really a minimal change, slightly favoring the BRAF mutated population at 57 versus 48. That's probably because of the availability of subsequent BRAF MEK therapy for the mutated population. And interestingly, as we've seen with PD-1 alone, with liver metastases, you do definitely better. It's something like 56% five-year survival versus 42% five-year survival, and it continues very similarly at six and a half years. You don't want to have liver metastases if you get treated with immunotherapy. And again, what's interesting is the treatment-free interval is vastly superior for the combination versus PD-1 alone. <coughs> and if you look, excuse me, at those patients still alive, 70% of them are free of further treatment on the combo arm versus 69% for, for Nevo alone and only 43% for Ipi alone. So whichever way you cut it, clear-cut evidence of benefit for uh, combination Ipi Nevo at six and a half years of follow-up compared to Nevo alone or Ipi alone. The next long-term follow-up was five years of follow-up on the Australian ABC study, which was a study of patients with brain metastases who received either Ipi Nevo or Nevo alone with a small cohort, which we didn't hear much about, of symptomatic patients or leptomeningeal patients. The nice thing about this study is that you could have multiple brain metastases and the patients were not treated <coughs> excuse me, with stereotactic radiosurgery. And again, relatively small study. There were 35 patients in the Ipi Nevo arm and 25 in the group that got Nevo alone and only 16 in the Nevo group that had either symptomatic disease on steroids or leptomeningeal disease. But if you look at the response rate, the intracranial response rate for the combo updated 51% versus only 20% for Nevo alone. And again, uh, if you look at the treatment naive patients, because you could have had prior treatment uh, on this trial systemically, 59% in the previously untreated patients. So again, very impressive data. And the extracranial best overall response rate, 57 for the combo, as you would expect for Ipinevo alone at the standard doses, only 29% for Nevo alone. And again, uh, significant changes in intracranial progression-free survival. It doubled from 2.5 to 5.4 months. And again, those are impressive data. Um, if you look at the survival of those 
who had a complete response intracranially at five years, 92% of, of them had not progressed. So again, those are very impressive uh, data. And if you look at the rate of uh, uh, radionecrosis after uh, those who progress intracranially and then get stereotactic radiosurgery, it's really very small in the range of 10 to 20 percent. So if you look at the overall survival, 51 percent at five years for the combo arm versus 34 percent for the nevo arm alone, and if you had symptoms, a uh, terrible 13 percent. And again, very nice data, clearly shows that your intracranial and extracranial response rates with ipi nevo beat nevo alone as you would expect but long-term survival clearly beats single agent drug alone if you have symptoms or leptomeningeal disease five-year survival is pretty dismal again this is dr jeffrey weber please do feel free to call in with comments and questions thank you for your attention